Hey, it's Ricardo, and welcome back to Elite Dangerous Beyond. Now, this is Reboot and Restart. Reboot and Restart is where I start again, basically, and go through all the stuff that I've done on my other account with this new Steam account that I've created. Now, what am I doing today? I'm going to go and do Sirius Corp Reputation. Now, to get access to this Sirius system, I need reputation. And to get reputation, I've got to do missions for the Sirius Corp. Where else to do this other than Davy Doc? Now Davy Doc is in the Proicon system. The Proicon system is quite unexceptional, to be perfectly honest with you. What's it got? Two stars, a couple of planets, several stations. But Davy Doc does tend to give an awful lot of decent Sirius Corporation missions that you can do, even as the beginner player, quite easily. We're talking delivery missions, we're talking collection missions, and the like. So we're going to head on over to there. It's only a short jump away and it's located quite nearby the new player zone that's been introduced by Frontier Developments. Here we are. Here is Davy Doc. I'm in my Cobra Mark III because it's nice and easy and I got a decent jump range. Now, this jump range is such that it's only a small ship and I can bomb about a bit. So here we are. We're in Davy Doc. You can see here's the permit acquisition opportunity. And to get this permit, to get into the Sirius system, you have to do missions and gain that reputation. It's all about reputation. Now, there are several ways to gain your reputation when you drop into a system, much like what you do with the engineers if you started going through the engineer process. You can rock in with all your cartographic data and sell it and gain some reputation with the controlling faction, which in this case is the Sirius Corporation. You can offload loads of mining materials, or you can do missions. Now, missions can start with initially donation missions, where they ask for money because they're in some sort of dire, either political or medical catastrophe. You donate money, you gain a little bit of reputation. You lose some money. But to get you on the board and to get you some decent missions, this might be what you need to do. Now, for this, you're gonna need a pretty much a decent ship. Turning up and trying to do this in the Sidewinder, well, you could do it. It would take you about six months, but you know, you're, you're gonna have to be able to have a meaty ship to sort of like get in there and do it. Now, initially, I'm gonna be using the Cobra. I'm gonna be going in there. My first mission I can demonstrate is gonna be the Collect Commercial Samples mission. Now, I'm not gonna use anything special, I'm not gonna use limpets or anything like that. I'm gonna rock in, I'm gonna find that particular signal source. It's all gonna be flagged as being a mission. I'm gonna drop in, pick up the two samples. I'm gonna get all the way back to Davy Dock. Jobs are good and I'll gain a little bit of reputation. Um, and I should start then to be furnished with a few extra missions. So that's what we're gonna do. Commercial samples, outbreak, salvage, contract. Dead easy, fly in, pick them up, back to Davy Dock to get that reputation. So we're off. Let's get out of this station and get ourselves over to the particular location where this mission starts. So this is collect the commercial samples. So I've dropped in and the particular system, Dumata, is only a short distance away from Proicon, which is quite good for me, really. Gonna get in there, gonna do some scanning. I've already been notified that the mission is close by. And it'll be highlighted, well, in my screen and on my HUD in red. There you are, look, mission. Select it, lock it in, and get yourself over there. It's as simple as that. So we're going to fly over. Now, if you wanted to and scan some addition, additional data, you could drop in, select the nav beacon if it's available in that system, and you'll candor all that information on the local system instantaneously. Now you could do that if you wanted to. I don't need to because I'm close enough. It's found it. Thank you very much. We're going to lock it in. We're going to fly over and get those samples collected. Now I suppose if you're a new player, you'd be using things like Super Cruise Assist to get yourself into the hang of things. Because we've been playing a while, I'm not going to bother using that. I mean, it's a quality of life thing that I don't think I'm really going to use. Super Cruise assist it's okay for people you know but not for this sort of mission okay so i've dropped in and there's been some sort of cataclysmic event in regards to the ship that was carrying these samples we're here really only for the commercial samples but because it's all legal salvage now and that's changed recently within the elite dangerous game all we basically have to do is drop the cargo scoop 
fly over nice and easy, line things up in the left hand recticule, around the canister that you need, scoop it up, jobs are good. Now we need two of these samples, and these samples are quite uninspiring, they're small canisters, much like what you generally see lying around, typical standard galaxy cargo canisters, there you go. We need two of these, like I said, fly towards it, scoop it up, back to Davy Dock, drop them up, and then see exactly what other missions you can be given. Now there's nothing stopping you picking up the other items here as well, if you have the per chance for it. Now, typically it was polymers, it was some water, it was some hydrogen fuel. Now, you're not gonna set the world alight with all that stuff. Um, it's gonna get you a little bit of information. If you're starting out commander and every little bit of credits count, then this is gonna be for you. Like you see, there was water and there was polymers and that sort of thing. You're gonna get a bit of information back and it is effectively free money. Now, if you've got that cargo space, then by all means do it and practice using the cargo scoop because the cargo scoop is gonna be invaluable for you in missions going on later on in the game. And I suppose with the Sirius Corporation and it being so close to the new player zone, it gives all the new players as well a good added incentive to get into doing the missions that are presented to you from the stations that are around you because this is how you're going to get your trade elite this is how you're going to gain your reputation with different systems to get you more permits so here we are at davy dock we've selected docking we're going to get in there we're going to dock and then we're going to drop off all our bounty and our commercial samples nice and easy Saying that though, for some of the other missions, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do those in a Cobra Mark III. I might have to bring in the Python that I've got fitted out for mining. Um, I've been doing quite a bit of mining, hence my balance of nearly 90, 000, 90 million credits. Um, I think I'll get the Python over here, and as a result of which I'll be doing some of the bigger missions. Uh, and try and expedite this route to the serious permit process that I'm currently on. So here I am. The nice agricultural setting of Davy Dock. I'm landing into Starport Services. Bit of refueling, because why not? Into the mission board. There's my commercial samples. Now, what do I choose? I'm going to go for this one. There's reputation, two pips, influence of two pips no more additional reputation to be had there, but I also get a typical disrupted wake echoes, five units, rarity grade of one. And why would I not not take that? Because all these materials, all this data that you can get with the rarity for stuff is really good around doing your engineering, stuff like that. So still nowhere near the ally that I need to get that permit, but I am, have got some additional missions that have opened up, deliver fruit and veg all that sort of thing and these are nice and simple missions you pick up the fruit and veg or whatever commodity it is they want you to take from a to b you put it in your cargo hold you fly to your destination you drop it off cash in get your reputation get whatever payment you've got for it jobs are good so that's another good one we've got more commercial samples outbreak contracts where well, we know how to do these they're dead simple and you've also got then find 18 units of progenitor cells. Now progenitor cells are a really good thing as well. Um, there's obviously an outbreak going on. They need these progenitor cells to help treat the outbreak and they're stored in high value, um, high tech systems. Now it's a couple of those in the area which are gonna get you into the method of going over there, picking something up, coming all the way back, dropping it off, getting the money, getting a reputation, building your elite trade rank. Now, some of these other missions that are delivered 3,482 units of wine. Now, that would be some party, wouldn't it? They're all great. They're all well and good. But think of the ship you're going to need to do that. How many runs are you need to going to do that? Or are you going to do it in a wing? And you can see some of these missions are depicted with a little um, red icon depicting the wing status where you can do these in a wing mission to gain that reputation as well. So what I'm going to do though, however, is I'm going to bring in my new, sh my um, old ship, my Python ship. It's only a couple of minutes away. It's a Python. It's currently fitted out for mining. But what I'm going to bring it over, I'm going to kit it out for, um, for cargo transporting. Stick some weapons on it as well, because I don't want to 
whatever I go and collect to be ripped off by some unsuspecting pirate. Uh, and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to start picking up some additional delivery missions, additional collect the sample missions, and I'm going to get cracking with this entire serious permit. So here we go. It's turned up. I've got added um, cargo space now. Get the progenitor cells. I'm not going to do any massacre missions, but typically we'll get cracking. So the next mission I'm going to do is deliver that fruit and veg that I collected from Davy Dock. And as a result of this, I've had to fly a short way to the, a neighbouring system over to the station and I'm going to drop it off. No dramas there. A typical pick it up, take this from here and drop it off over there. And that's going to get me the reputation that I need, at least some reputation. So if I am at Polykov Taste Station in a neighbouring system, I've gone straight into the mission system. There I am. Deliver my items. Well, it's only eight units or eight tons of fruit and veg. Select deliver items. Complete. Bang. It's done. Nice and easy. And for that, I can then collect some modified consumer firmware. Get one pip of reputation. Now, there are better missions out there. I understand this. But why not choose that one and get that consumer firmware as well and a little bit of money. That's been delivered. Time to move on to the next mission as well. Simple as that. Pick it up from here, take it over there, cash in. Now, typically I've got enough on my plate without taking any more additional side missions, even though some might be going to where I need to be going next. However, I've got some commercial sample missions I need to go and do, and as a result of this, I'm gonna select that from the left-hand panel on the screen. Now, with this ship, I have got fitted to it collector limpets left over from my time mining as you can see the system that I'm going to Lushera is only a few light years away just two jumps and it's gonna be dead easy to get over there here I am I've dropped into the particular system now I'm going to deploy my collector limpets instead of using the cargo scoop to go over and fly nice and slowly I'm just gonna sit there like a big old lazy fat boy. Not to fat boy shame anybody. We've all got a bit of girth, no doubt. But what I'm gonna do is, instead of flying towards it with the cargo scoop open, open my cargo scoop, deploy my collector limpets. The little collector limpet robots are gonna shoot out from the belly of the ship, much like they do in mining, and I'm sure you've all seen those videos. They're gonna go out, they're gonna collect the targeted items. And that's the key thing here, the targeted items, because you may want your commercial samples, but you might not be too fussed on collecting the water. So off they're gonna go, they're gonna pick those items and they're gonna zoom them right into the cargo hold. No dramas. What are the downsides of this? Well, you have gotta have collector limpets and that's gonna take up valuable, valuable cargo space and you're gonna need a collector limpet controller. But these are available at quite a lot of stations these days of, um, of decent technological level. So there it goes, they're going off, they're collecting those limpets, and this mission has been made a hell of a lot easier, and I think a bit more spectacular really, and a little bit less laborious on collecting these particular items. But, but again, don't forget your limpets. So next up on my road to getting that serious permit, from Davy Doc, I picked up missions to go and collect progenitor cells and source progenitor cells. I got two missions for that, and for any of this, I have to go over to a high tech station, and there's quite a few around nearby. Um, in particular, with this one, uh, Bursch Enterprises, who sell them. Now, what it is, Davy Doc and the Procon system is in the middle of an outbreak. These progenitor cells are used in treating outbreaks like this, so there's an avid need to have these in in the station and that's great it's fine by me we know where we can get them we're going to go in there we're going to stock up we're going to meet our mission requirements and also i can kit the python out with some of that additional tech that i need now i'm only running six 60 shields um all the standard stuff you know and I, I fancy some 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 upgrades so i can do this at the outfitting section here at this particular station and get the progenitor cells that I want to complete this particular mission and take it back to Davy Dock. So I'm landing, no dramas there. Well, a bit of dramas because I've just overshot the landing pad. And here's the thing with Elite Dangerous. 
If this video seems that it's not flowing too well and it's jumping from one topic to another, when you're doing these missions, that's kind of what it does. You might do a collect a sample mission. You might do deliver fruit and veg from A to B. You might go and collect progenitor cells, all to get that one particular permit and do what you can to get that reputation. Now I'm gonna sell some stuff. I'm also gonna buy some stuff. And with this new interface, you can see that if you buy progenitor cells, how much profit you're gonna make at your destination station. Is it worthwhile buying more than what you actually needed? Well, more than likely. Because if there's a demand for it, like progenitor cells in an outbreak system that Davy docks apart from and the Polycon system, then why not buy and make a little bit of extra money and expand your elite trade rank? And that's what it is. Everything in the plus is going to work towards expanding your elite trade rank. So not only are you gaining experience in what you're doing, you're gaining reputation in order to get the serious permit from Davy Dock and the serious corporation, but you're also working on your elite trade ranking. And as we've mentioned, you can do that by selling cartographic data. You can do it with dropping off all the minerals and materials you've mined. Um, you can do big trades, and that's all gonna help in building your reputation with the controlling faction, which in this case is Sirius Corp. So, we stocked up. It's time to get our progenitor cells back to Davy Dock. And as a result of this, it's only a couple of short jumps. Nice and easy, no dramas. So here we are, we're back at Davy Dock, about to land. We've got the familiar green glow of the agricultural station and all its plants growing in the periphery of your vision. No dramas. We've got commercial samples to drop off. We've delivered our fruit and veg. We've got progenitor cells. All this we're gonna use to get some additional items and to get reputation at the same time as well as building that elite trade rank. So here we go. We haven't got any universal cartographic stuff to sell because everything has been local and underneath um, 20 light years. So we've still got that data, but when we go further afield, then we can pick it up. So here we go on the mission section. We're going to deliver our commercial samples. And as a result of which, um, only ever going to get one pip reputation. So might as well go for that one with the influence. Because reputation, reputation, building a bit of influence can help. Again, we've got reputation. We've got influence, we're gonna go for the middle one with 10,000 credits, one influence and three reputation. All this is working out quite nicely. We're super power friendly, which is great. Again, we've got, find the 18 units of progenitor cells. Well, we've stocked up on that, no problem at all. Still haven't got anywhere near enough to get that particular permit. There we go, we've delivered that. And the final mission there from our stock of progenitor cells, we're going to deliver that as well. Meeting our designed requirements for these missions. Now I've still got about 120 to 130 tons of progenitor cells in the cargo hold. Now I've brought those hoping that missions would have spawned and I could have delivered some and dropped some off. And they do indeed spawn, but for other factions, however, at the moment. So I kind of lucked out there. But never mind. I'm still given donation missions as well by other factions, but I'm primarily focused on the Sirius Corporation and getting that Sirius permit. Now, in part two of this video, I'm going to go back and do some additional missions as well and get that. And as you can see, really, it all took for this one about an hour of flying around back and forth. So if you've got the right equipment, you can typically get this permit within about two or three hours. And that will then gain you access to the Sirius systems. I've been Ricardo, thanks very much for watching. If you've already done so, hit that like and subscribe button. Video's been a little bit rambly, I know. Check back for more videos in this series, but this event effectively is how Elite Dangerous is played. So, like I say, check out for the next video. I'll release it in a couple of days, and I hope this is of some help for you. See you soon.